Yeah, just a very, very short video. Just a couple observations. I think I got something kind of working. Don't have the cast shadows hooked up at the moment, but um, uh, I did notice that the locator seems to definitely go um, hot. Like it goes quite white the further away uh, it gets from the object. So that might be part of the issue that we're having here. So. If you are going to use this older or the the approach that I came up with, uh, you will have to kind of limit the position of the locator. Now your light at the moment is connected to the locator. You could technically not have it connected, and you could have it um, on a different in a different position. A couple other things I noticed. So I, I did was able to create a decompose um, matrix. You have to do it through the node editor. So if we just type in decompose matrix, it'll pop up through here. And another thing that was missing from the hypershade is the redshift state. So you just type in red shift, I can spell state. And then let me just go cat box and red shift state. There it is. And that goes into the uh, first input for the this vector product. Uh, this vector product, no operation, this vector product, dot product. Um, another thing I did notice as well, uh, and I don't remember having to do this before, but the input to value for the multiply node, I, I reduced it quite a lot. Because if this is set to the default, then it's kind of all blown out like it was before. And another thing I, I found I had to do was invert the, the um, x, z value, invert this x value. Um, Z value because uh, for some reason it wasn't it was doing the opposite so I'd move up here it would go the opposite direction on the highlight so this seems to be working right and once you've got something you can always readjust the the curves uh, through the through here right so I could always go through and readjust this as as much as I can you know this part that's in highlight here um, you know that's going to be it, it does seem to not let me go past a certain point where it's on the back side of this um, but you know that could be any color right we could make that any color but as soon as it gets past halfway that does seem to not want to go any further and then we could always add in more more colors if you wanted to have say a white or something like that at the top so without actually going beyond with this because this will also add in the white as you can see there all right so hopefully that helps a little bit more um, and then obviously the locator gets pipe piped in so the world matrix zero goes into the input matrix um, the out translate goes into input one uh, we have the lower value for the input two with the negative there. Uh, this goes into input one for the vector product one, no operation, vector product two has a dot product uh, with the RS state going in input one. And then the remap. And I didn't really change anything here on the remap. And that goes into the incandescent color. Um, and then there's the shadow if we want the uh, shadow catcher, and then we could put this into here and then apply this to the ground. So we have those cast shadows, right? If I can, but I would need a light. So I'd have to bring in a light. Right. And you know, I would put it near or the side of the locator, but it doesn't have to be exactly on the same spot as the, lo as the locator, I guess. And then, you know, that shadow color can be anything, right? So we could basically make that shadow color anything under here, shadow. So things like transparent, well, I would just play with the transparency, right? So it has a little bit of whatever the ground color is. Anyhow. I hope this helps. Um, I think it's getting closer. So I built this from scratch in the newest version of Maya. 
So this should this should work, I think. Um, okay, I'm gonna end it here. Okay, cheers, bye.